Hello everybody, I'm Michelle Anderson, founder of Clarinet Mentors, and today I want to talk about the right hand. I'm going to show you some things about what should be the proper position for our right hand, both for our fingers, but also for how our thumb should sit in relation to those fingers. And I've had a few people write me recently and say that their right thumb and hand gets kind of sore. So I'll show you my pointers for how to make them feel better. First of all, let's just take a look at what is the ideal position for our right hand on the clarinet. I'm a big believer in learning to play with good habits that really support you in, in playing the easiest way possible and to sound as good as you can. All of our fingers, right hand and left, work best if they're in an arched and rounded position, sort of like this. There are two really common bad habits that I see people have with their right hand when they're trying to play clarinet. One is related to that arch. Instead of rounded fingers, their knuckle collapses here. And we sort of, uh, instead of being rounded, it folds in here as if I'm pushing that down. If you were just to try moving your fingers you know, on your knee or something with them squished like that and then rounded, you'll see that naturally our fingers work much more easily and fluidly if they're rounded. The second biggest bad habit that I see for the right hand has to do with the angle that our fingers make with the clarinet. Ideally, they should be almost square onto the clarinet, but a lot of people like to angle their right hand up and almost rest it on these side keys here. But that's a bad habit for a few reasons. One is you might accidentally be pushing that key open a bit and that will cause a squeak or cause a delay in your notes. But also makes it harder for our poor pinky finger here to reach those keys. If I angle it back to straight, now this right pinky can easily reach any of those four keys, which of course its job is to do, is to cover any of those four keys. So if my hand's tilted up this way, harder to do, and in fact, this finger often leaks. If you're fairly new to the clarinet and you find sometimes when you're playing your right hand high register notes, like a D, a C, a B, any of the pinky notes, and they squeak a lot or they don't speak, often it's because this finger leaks, and turning our hand down can really make a difference for that. Now, that kind of covers our three fingers. We want them arched, basically square to the clarinet. What about our thumb? Well, if you're lucky enough to have a thumb rest that's adjustable, and many new clarinets have this, you'll notice it can move up and down, and everyone's hands are a little bit different. So I want to show you how you can find the right position for you. And I have kind of a goofy little way to do it, and I think it works great. What you're going to do is with your fingers and thumb, make a little hand puppet, chatting away, and then you're going to stop it. All right, so I've just frozen my hand puppet shut. And what I want to notice is where my thumb sits in relationship to these two fingers. Because for most of us, it will sit between our index finger and our middle finger. So on my hand, if we look at that, it's a little bit more on my middle finger, this finger, than on my index finger. Now some people naturally will do this, right on their index finger. Some people will be right on their middle finger. Some people are half and half. For me, I'm about two-thirds on my middle finger, one-third on my index finger. I want to imitate that when I open my hand up on the clarinet. So I'm holding my hand in a funny way so you can see it on the camera. So when I pick up my instrument, I want my thumb to basically be more in line with my middle finger than my index finger. So right now, if we look at it, I have it a little bit closer to that finger than to this one. So I've adjusted this thumb rest to the perfect height for my hand. I've had a lot of students come in who just had their thumb rest set to wherever it happened to be when they first came in. And when we've adjusted it to match their hand position, immediately it feels more comfortable. They find it easier to play. Now most clarinets, especially older ones, might just have a fixed thumb rest like this. Now as it happens, that one's perfect for my hand as it is. You can have it moved by a repairman, or it's pretty easy to get an adjustable thumb rest put on. If you look at where your thumb rest is sitting and it doesn't match the natural hand position of your own fingers and thumb, you really might consider upgrading it, especially if you find your right hand gets stiff or sore at all. But it can make a big difference. 
If you find that your right hand is sore after playing, especially your thumb and, and the, your hand right near your thumb joint, if you're brand new to clarinet, that's very natural actually. We're putting some weight on your muscles in a way that they're not accustomed to. And usually that will fix itself after a little while. However, there is another solution that actually I really recommend to a lot of my students, and that's to get a clarinet neck strap. Now it used to be that these were considered for wimps only. But I actually, other than the fact that you might look wimpy to some people, I haven't heard a compelling reason against them, and I have lots of reasons why I'm in favor of them. So this particular neck strap is made by B&G. Um, Neotech also has a good one. It has an adjustment on the back so that if you have a thumb rest that just is a, is a peg that sticks out, then we have this little adapter here that can slide onto it and now it can support the weight. Or, uh, if you have a clarinet thumb rest that has a ring built into it, then you could use just the hook. Looks a lot like a saxophone strap and hook it right in there. And they're both very sturdy. What the neck strap does is it allows much of the weight to sit on this nice padded neck cushion and the weight goes onto your shoulders, which is probably stronger than your thumb. I think it I'm estimating about two-thirds of the weight is now up here. It makes my hands feel a lot lighter. And for people who have trouble keeping their right hand in position, sometimes taking the weight off of it makes it a lot easier to keep your hand relaxed and get them in position. So really, I haven't found a negative side effect to using a neck strap. I found lots of positive effects with many people. So I highly recommend them if, if at all you have any challenges with your right hand or even your thumb getting a bit sore. I started using them when I had a bit of tendonitis in my wrist and it really helped me with that. And I just kind of stuck with it ever since because I think it's a great idea. All right, so there you go. Simple things about your right hand. Keep your fingers curved, make a little finger puppet like this. That's how you want your thumb when you open it up onto the clarinet, which I'm having trouble doing, but like that. <laughs> and uh, maybe consider using a neck strap to take some of the weight off of that right hand just to make it easier for you. Again, if you don't have an adjustable thumb rest, it's not terribly hard for a good repairman to change for you and it might make your life more comfortable. If you've enjoyed today's video, it's one in a series of free Clarinet Mentors video, and it goes out, uh, new videos like this come out every two weeks to the Clarinet Mentors community. And you can join for free. If you look at the link below, www.learnclarinetnow.com, you can sign up for free. Every two weeks you get a newsletter with pointers like this, and you'll also be the first to hear about other special Clarinet events that might come up. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.